Hello everybody and welcome to the Shaky Hand Camera. Yeah, yeah this is my bike. Um, it's a Honda CBR125R20. I don't actually know which edition it was because it was... There was an older version and then that was the 125 and then they brought out the 125R. I don't know what year that was. The bike I got is directly from Honda, so the bike is £3,599. So you save a pound. Because that's good, isn't it? Oh my god, you save loads of money! This is my bike, I basically stickered it. So as you can see, I've got Mr. Baron Von Grumble. And on the other side, I've got Mr. Spicy 110. And I don't know why I'm doing this really annoying voice. I've got my own stickers on there as well. As you can see, Mini Motorvog. Um, but then these are just so much better. I've got, mon I got loads of monster stuff. Yeah, I bought them on the same website that I got the spicy stuff from. So I got, I got, I got the big spicy packs. I got like the big sticker, the spicy, and then I got the two little white stickers and the two little black stickers. And then Baron's one came this morning actually. And then I got loads of Monster Energy. And I actually got two of the Monster ones. I got the green and the black. Because I bought the black uh, thinking it was just the Monster original one. So I was thinking it'd be green. And then after I paid it, I checked it out and it was black. And I was like, oh, I might as well buy the green one then. Because at least you can do it, you know, actually tell it's a Monster. So I got two packs of Monster. So it's like got Monster stickers everywhere. I've got GoPro holders there and I'll go around this way yeah you ain't seeing my license plate and then I've got my GoPro on there even though I'm recording it with the GoPro uh, I've got the GoPro thing up there because I'm shooting a little film it's literally just going to be some clips and then just some uh, music over the top but I'm just having different views so you can see me like changing braking face it forward on the fairings and stuff like that That's and then the final one, you'll be sitting in this view right here, you'll be sitting on my on my visor. The thing I want to do, when I get the L sticker off, the L plate sticker, um, I'm going to take this off and I'm going to spray, because the sticker's on the outside, I'm going to spray the inside of it black, so that the outside, it will still be all shiny, but it'll be black. I just think it looks so much nicer than being clear. I don't know why, it's just, yeah, I think it would make more sense. For the bike because it's sort of a red and black uh, contrasting colours. I think I might as well make the visor black. Overall, I'm just going to tell you first what I think of it, of the bike. Like not any specific things, just what I feel of the bike. Awesome! It is definitely worth the money. It is a very expensive 125. I can tell you that for 3,600 pounds just for the bike. It's four grand from buying it with all the gear and that, and then insurance. That's another almost a thousand pounds so from saying you want a 125 to having this on the road with all your gear on you're looking at about five thousand pounds ish you know four and a half to five thousand pounds is quite a bit um first thing i'm going to say that i'm going to do is you're not seeing my license plate but i'm just going to show you. there's the indicators and then you've got your license plate there and the L plate hanging on below the license plate. I definitely, if they can do them for 125s, I want to get a tail tidy because I just hey, you're not looking at my license plate. <laughs> uh, handles so well, honestly. Like when you go around corners, you don't have to counter steer if you're going at like a sensible speed. But if you are going a bit too quick, as I've found out. You do have to counter steer or you might come off. Uh, I've had one experience, which I'm going to put on YouTube, don't worry, um, where both wheels went right on the white line. You know, the first thing I went through my head was, oh God, how do I call my dad and just be like, Dad, you know you love me. I've just put my £4,000 in a ditch. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't, I, I don't really know how to say that call one day when it comes, be a monster stickers everywhere. Slapped them on the fairings. Uh, but yeah, honestly, overall, the bike is amazing. It handles amazing. The seat, it's awesome. Now, with the position, I know it's a sport bike position, so you're going to be leaning over a lot. I found that actually my left hand, it's weird. I mean, my, my left hand hurts more than my right hand. My right hand doesn't really hurt at all, but that's because it's doing the throttle. Whereas my left hand is just sitting there doing nothing. And after 
Yeah, this isn't after like five minutes or anything. This is after like a proper ride. Um, so after about 40 minutes to an hour-ish, my left hand just start to hurt, which is quite weird. But then obviously when you're going along, your left hand's not doing anything. So you just sit it on your, you know, you just sit it on your leg or something. That's what I do half the time. So when you're going at speed, you don't actually have your left hand on your handlebars. So starting off with the engine and transmission, the compression ratio is 11 to 1 no idea what that means the starter that's this little boy basically what you do you put your key in you flick it to on and then you literally just press um you're holding your clutch what do you know do you need to hold in your clutch now nah, you do the electronic button there is no kick starter or anything like that whereas on my ped i had the choice of both so if it was cold and it weren't quite wanting to do that i could just use the kick start just to you know jump start it in um Max power output is 9.8 kilowatts or 10,000 mins dash one, so 95 dash one dash EC. No idea what they mean. Fuel consumption now 41.6 kilometers or 117.5 miles per gallon. That says so. I'm doing this in miles. 117 miles. I ride this thing like mad. Honestly, I rev it everywhere. I blast it off of um traffic lights and stuff i ride around honestly like a complete dick obviously the more you do that the quicker your fuel's gonna go down the more you're gonna have to fill it up i can get 200 miles with this it says 117 i can easily like if i were to ride normal i can get 200 a four stroke two valve sohc single I don't know. Uh, it's four stroke, so it's not going to be as far off. Never. It's four strokes. It's not going to be as fast off the line as, say, your Yamaha YZF because that's a two stroke. Um, but it'll do the exact same thing. So from zero to you know forty, it will take like a second slower. That's it. You know. Uh, but then if you actually go out and ride, it doesn't feel. It doesn't feel slow. Don't put that off you if you're considering buying this it is not a slow 125 i can tell you that and i'm quite a big lad i'm quite stocky i go to the gym quite big got a little bit of fat on me as well and you know i'm not a light little kid and i can get it up to 75 you know from zero to 40 i could do that in like i don't know 10 seconds or below i don't, I don't actually know i need to i'll do a video um where i actually have a timer where i'm sitting still and i go up to 40 and I'll have a timer on it and I'll see how fast exactly I can actually do. But at the moment, rough guess of how I've been doing it, probably 10 seconds or lower. Length is 1,946 millimeters long. Um, the width is 704 millimeters long. And I'll just get a view. It's, it's a, uh, the fairings do make it a bit wider and the bars and the indicators stick out a bit. But the actual bike itself it's quite thin it's quite a thin bike it really is and then the height is 1089 millimeters now that's from floor to the top of, uh, top of the actual bike now the seat height is 793 millimeters want to get this bike or something just have a sit and have a feel but yeah the actual seat height is 793 millimeters so I don't know if you want to work that out to compare and how tall your legs are just to see if you will be too small or too tall, but I'd recommend just go and have a sit on one and just see how you feel really, because, I don't know, your opinion could change. The brakes on the front are a dual piston caliper and uh, with metal pads, uh, as you can see there. So, it's only one disc, you know, it's only on the right hand side, it's not dual disced or anything, but that one disc does you perfect. I mean, you can, it doesn't have ABS, but you can if you can control your brakes you know you can just yank on the front and it will calm you down until you release it it's like racing in a formula one car it doesn't have abs so you smack on the brakes till you slow down and then you release them off but you still slow yourself down um to make sure that you don't lock up now if you can do that which i found that actually in situations where i needed to do that I'm actually doing that automatically, I'm not thinking about it, I am just smacking on the brakes and then bringing them off gently. And that if you're going at speed and you need to stop quickly, so doing an emergency stop, 
will save you from locking up your front. Uh, and also you will be using your back, but I think it's like 75% front to you know 25% back or something like that. The rear are a single piston caliper with metal pads. Again, the exact same. That's 130 millimeters wide by 70 thick, and that is 100 centimeter, 100 whatever, 100 millimeters wide to 70 meter, to 80 meters thick. I think I'm assuming. Hate me if I'm wrong. Whatever. I'm just guessing here. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. If you are interested in going buying one, buy one. Uh, so yeah, bye guys, ride safe.